the Shelby County School Superintendent is so fed up with TN Ready testing, he's fired off a letter to the governor about it. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. The superintendent of Metro Nashville Schools did the same thing. They want the state to push the pause button on the test, which has had problems for three straight years. Local 24's Brad Broders is live at SES headquarters tonight with the latest on all of this. Brad? Good evening, Richard and Katina. In that letter, the superintendents of the state's two largest school districts argue that public trust in TN Ready is at an all-time low. That's why they want, at bare minimum, new safeguards to ensure this year's test is run smoothly and accurately. We can't ask our teachers and our principals and students to give their heart and soul and plan you know, for this big test, and it's just not... Uh, implemented properly. That's why SCS Superintendent Dorsey Hobson and his colleague in Nashville wrote this joint letter to state leaders, urging they fix a host of problems that's plagued the TN Ready test for years. I hope at a minimum that the state will take the, the, the request seriously and, you know, at least be able to provide some assurances. After a data breach this year, TN Ready results weren't used against students, teachers, and districts. That followed incorrect TN Ready grading and botched online tests in 2016 and 2017, forcing many students to take the test on paper. The test is a scoreboard, and so we want the scoreboard to be right. The last couple of years has been a debacle. Keith Williams, who leads SES's Teachers Union, supported the letter and its demand for better accountability and accuracy for TN Ready. What we have now is a test that we try to apply to students over material that may or may not have been taught. Now, in a response this afternoon, a Tennessee Department of Education spokesperson said they've done a lot of things to improve TN Ready for this year's testing, including the appointment of 37 ambassadors to help improve the overall test as a whole. Reporting live at SES headquarters in Midtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.